In this segment, we'll talk about the defects of human eye. The first one that we are starting with is myopia. Myopia is also known as nearsightedness. This means the person is able to see the things which are closer but the far objects are not clearly visible. So person can see close objects and the far objects are blur or not clear. So far objects are not clearly seen. Now let us understand why this defect is caused. There are two reasons for this defect. First reason, the lens which is in our eye that is a convex lens. Its power of convergence increases. We call it increase in convexity or converging power. So increase in converging power. That is of our normal lens which is there. It is a converging lens. It is a biconvex lens and when it focuses the image on retina with a normal uh, power here its converging power has increased. And the second reason is the size of the eyeball is more. So larger eyeball. These are the two reasons which are responsible for myopia. Now let us first understand how is the image formed in a normal eye and then what would be the defect after these two conditions. In a normal eye, suppose we are drawing this simple structure of the eye and let us draw the lens here. This is the cornea, which is the little bulge. And here, the lens is suspended with the help of the ciliary body and the suspensory ligaments. Now, when the light from the object, these rays, they come here. These rays are converged by this lens. So, this is the point that is on retina. The focus is uh, formed and the image is formed here. So this is normal, but if we take the first problem, then what is the situation? The normal eye, this is slight bulge of cornea. This is the eye that we are talking of. And here is the lens, which is again suspended with the help of these suspensory ligaments. Now here the power of the lens has increased, power of converging. So when the rays fall on this, because of increased convergence power, it converges the, uh, these rays in front of uh, retina. So image is formed in front of retina. Or in other words, if image is not formed on retina, the cells are not properly stimulated, the image will not be clear. So here the image is going to be blurry. This is one problem. The second is when the eyeball size increases. Let us draw this again, the cornea slight bulge and this is the eye. This is normal eye that we are drawing. Here is the lens. The rays which fall on this lens, they come here and lens power is normal. There is no problem at all. But we are saying that here the eyeball is larger. So instead of a normal size, the eyeball is here. That means this is the retina here. And this is the place where the image would be formed. So whether it is due to higher convergence power of our lens or whether it is because of the larger size of the eyeball in both the situations, the image is formed in front of retina, not on retina. 
Now, how can these two defects be corrected? The problem is because of the converging power of the lens. The converging power has increased. So, we need to use a lens which would have a diverging power. That is the concave lens. Here, if this person uses a concave, a biconcave lens, biconcave lens has a power of divergence. These are called diverging lenses. So now what is going to be the situation? The rays which fall on this, they would diverge. The rays would diverge. Now, this lens is going to converge those diverged rays. So when these are converged, they would be focused here. So because of using a divergent lens, what has been done is, now this lens is made to focus those diverged rays. So the focus is going to be slightly behind as compared to the original one. So by using this lens, this problem can be corrected. Same thing can be done here also. If we use again a diverging lens. So what would this diverging lens do? It is going to diverge these rays and this lens will have to focus these diverged rays. So when these rays are focused, the, again, the sharp point or the image is going to form on retina. So here for correction, correction is done by using a diverging lens that is a concave lens. So in case of myopia, the person is able to see the things which are closer. But if the rays are coming from a distant object, these are the two reasons where the problems actually are there. Now, because of this, what happens is the image is formed in front of the retina. Blur uh, image is seen in case of both these problems. And if we use this, then the correction can be done. One more thing is when people are suffering from this problem, they are not able to see the things or the objects which are far from them. But if the object keeps coming closer, what is being done is if the object is being moved closer, this focus is shifted backwards. So if the object is coming closer, they are able to or they start seeing it. That means they can see the objects which are near them instead of the farther object. And because they are able to see the near object, they are called nearsighted and this defect is called myopia. Let us take the second defect, that is hypermetropia. Hypermetropia is also known as farsightedness. In this, the person is able to see distant objects, but the things which are closer are not that clearly visible. A similar problem is seen uh, as a result of aging. When a person gets older, we many a times see that when they are trying to read the messages from their cell phone or trying to read the newspapers, they keep the object far from their eyes. But that is not exactly hypermetropia. That similar problem, but that is due to aging. We will take up that little later. Here, the person is able to see distant objects and so we call them farsighted but the closer things, closer objects are not clearly visible. Again, the blurred image is formed. For this kind of defect also there are two reasons. First reason and it is exactly opposite of what happens in myopia. In this case, the lens of our eye which is a converging lens, its power decreases. So here the converging power decreases. So it is not able to uh, focus those rays on retina. And the second reason is smaller eyeball. So if eyeball is smaller, in this case also the image is formed in or behind retina. Now let us see the normal vision again. This is 
the cornea, the eyeball and here is the lens which is suspended. The normal uh, case lens is going to let these rays focus on the retina. So the image is going to be formed right on retina. If this is the problem, that means the power of the lens is affected, then that in that case what's going to happen is this is the eyeball. Now the lens suspended again with this suspensory ligaments and the ciliary body. Now in this case because its power has reduced the power to converge those rays. So rays fall on it and it is not able to focus it. So it focuses it behind retina. So image is not formed, it's a sharp image is not formed on retina. Now the second problem is, let us draw this eye here also. This is the cornea and the eyeball. This is the normal eyeball that we are drawing and here the lens is suspended. If this was normal eyeball size, then what would have happened? The rays would have converged on retina. But here the defect is in the eyeball, the size of the eyeball. So eyeball instead of normal size is smaller. So actually this dotted line is the retina. That means in both the cases, the image is formed behind retina. What do we need to use to correct it? Here, the power of converging has uh, decreased. So, we will have to use a lens which can increase this power of converging. So, the lens which is used, say for example here, we are talking of this corrective thing. So, the lens is a convex lens. What is this convex lens, lens going to do? It is going to converge these rays which are falling on it. And these converged rays are to be further converged by this lens whose power of convergence has decreased. So by adding one more converging lens, we are helping this lens to converge at the right place. That is on the retina. Same thing is done here. Suppose, let me use other color. This is the lens which we are placing here. What is this lens going to do? It is going to converge these rays which are coming. And this lens is going to converge these for the converged rays. And here the image is formed on the retina. So we are using a convex lens, a converging lens for correcting this defect. So here reasons are to the converging power of the lens has decreased and the smaller eyeball. And in both the case, correction is by using a converging lens that is a convex lens. So myopia and hypermetropia, their problems are due to two things either by the due to the lens whether its converging power is more or less or the shape of the eyeball is different not normal so the image can be formed in front of it or behind the retina and there can be corrective lenses which can be used so these are two main defects there are few more which we would take up in the next segment